We're going to solve this word problem using the guess and check method. Nadia takes a ribbon that is 48 inches long and she cuts it into two pieces. One piece is three times as long as the other. How long is each piece? I went ahead and made us a grid here to save some time. This will be the slot for the first piece. Wow, I suppose I should probably get a pen I can write with. This will be the slot for the first piece. This will be the slot for the second piece, which has to be three times as long. And this will be our total. What we need are two numbers, this one three times as big as this one, that add up to be 48. So let's just pick a number. Let's say the first one was six inches long. If the first one was six inches, then this one would be three times six, or 18. Six plus 18 is 24. It's not big enough. Let's try nine. If this one's nine, then this one is three times nine, or 27. That makes this one 36. Still not long enough. How about 12? If this one's 12, this one's 3 times 12, or 36. It's a total of 48. There we go. So our first piece is 12 inches. Our second piece is 36 inches. And we can verify that those two things add together to be 48, and 36 is indeed 3 times 12. Let's take a look at this word problem. Anne has a certain amount of money in her bank account on Friday morning. During the day, she writes a check for $24.50, she makes an ATM withdrawal of $80, and she deposits a check for $235. At the end of the day, she sees that her balance is $451.25. How much money did she have in the bank at the beginning of the day? Now, since we want to actually find out what happened earlier in the day, we want to work backwards given our final total. We know how much we ended up with, we want to know what we started with. So if we ended up with four hundred and fifty one dollars and twenty five cents and that was after depositing a check for two thirty five then before that we must have had two hundred thirty five dollars less so we're gonna have to subtract two hundred thirty five dollars and then at that time she said that she had just written or just made an ATM withdrawal of eighty dollars and written a check for twenty four fifty so those two things were in her account at the beginning of the day and came out during the day. So those are values that we need to add back in. So we're going to add $80 and 2450 So if we go through and do the math, 451.25 minus 235 plus 80 plus 2450, we get 320.75. And we can check that by going back the other direction once more. 320.75 minus 24.50 minus 80 plus 235 does indeed equal 451.25. So we have the correct answer.